flow. Once again, we have another Wowhead sponsored stream. I am partnering up with Wowhead so that we can do some more recipes from the World of Warcraft official cookbook. Here it is right here in all its splendor and glory. We're gonna crack into this sucker one more time today in honor of the classic beta being here and classic wow coming out very very soon like august soon end of august soon we're going to be doing a world of warcraft world of warcraft classic recipe for you guys today we are going to be working on the crunchy spider surprise here it is i guarantee that there's not actually any real spiders in here unless you really want it to be then of course you can go check up if you are in the u.s your Amazon store, and you can definitely get some dehydrated uh, spider meat in there. <laughs> I am not doing that, though. So we have separated our egg yolks and our egg whites. We have eight ounces of wonton wrappers. We have a pound of crab meat. That is two eight-ounce containers, which is 16 ounces, which is a pound. So we have ourselves our crab meat. We're good to go. We're going to need a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, Tablespoon of cornstarch. Let me go ahead and get all those ingredients out so that we may continue or quarantine you. All right, so a nice little splash of water going in. And then we have to beat our egg whites. I'm going to try not to go too crazy because I don't want to meringue these. We're not supposed to meringue these. I don't want to accidentally meringue my egg whites. That's not supposed to happen. All right, cool. So we have ourselves our beat up egg whites. Check. Uh, let's go ahead and start chopping up our wonton wrappers. We're going to go ahead and do what the book says. And we are going to chop up our wonton wrappers. And they said into very thin strips. How thin are they? I don't know. So thin that they don't even chop at all. I don't know. We have finished cutting our wonton strips into very thin. So hi, Fred, this is everybody, everybody, this is Fred. So we're gonna go ahead and add everything together with what we need. Uh, so there is our egg, boop. Crab meat. Boop. Ooh, sorry about that. Oh, shoot. We're using the real crab, but feel free to use uh, imitation crab. There is, you know, it doesn't mean no, never mind to me. The book, the cookbook also says that you can use whatever you want. One teaspoon of salt coming up. pinch each red and black peppers. I only have black pepper, so we're just gonna have to do black pepper. Oh, red pepper flakes. I have red pepper flakes. You know, whatever level of spicy you wanna put in, that's how much, you know, red pepper flakes you'd probably wanna put into your um, crunchy spider surprise. So it says to put this all in our blender, mix it up, so let's go ahead and do it to it here. Woo, woo. False. Oh, come on. So, don't forget to grab a silicone spatula. It'll help you kind of scrape off the sides here, get everything mixed up a little bit more evenly, just to make sure I'm not leaving anything out. Just make sure it all gets mixed up well. There we go. Oh, look at that, so good. All right, so I do believe, um, ba -ba -ba, two inches across if she beats, ba -ba -ba. all right, cool. So should be able to make a dozen balls with these. I'm gonna go ahead and get some gloves just because uh, I've been weird lately about raw egg. Whatever. We're gonna go for slightly smaller than golf. 
size and that's that's gonna be it <laughs> we're gonna take it from there all right so we have that and so now we're gonna have our breading bowl to egg to wrapper and then finally going on to the stove which is crooked right now give me a second Ooh, there we go so we're gonna get that ready to go i'm gonna put some vegetable oil in here all right here we go so we're gonna go ahead and try and do our uh we're gonna go ahead and try and do our breading station here really quick coating the egg stuff on the outside check getting coated with Yeah, getting coated with uh, wonton wrappers. Other check. It says to close up the balls. Make sure it's wrapped completely. Press it in so that it will kind of stick to everything. Make sure we cover and coat everywhere. All right, hang on. Woo, there we go. So we're going to be just cooking those and completely coating them. Okay. We're going to go ahead and coat each of our bowls here. Uh, tongs out and I'm going to lower the heat because this is already burning. So I'm lowering down the heat because it's the temperature is way too high. Truth. All right, one more. I think we can do one more. I keep forgetting to use the uh, tongs. I'm trying to make sure all sides are cooked completely. So I'm trying to lower the heat so that they don't overcook and get crazy. It really honestly does not take a lot of time for uh, wonton wrappers to like finish getting hot. You flip. There we go. You flip. Nice. We're getting some good color, but unfortunately because these are circular, we're going to have a little bit of an issues. Honestly, if I were to do this again, I would deep fry them. Looks like we are done with this one. Uh, let's go ahead now. I washed my hands, I promise. Let's take a look at our finished product here. I have kind of a confusion of a mishmash of finished products, so we're gonna plate this all nice. Here's our uh, finished wonton strips, of course. Can't help it, they're so good. It's recommended, with, according to the cookbook, to pair this with the hoisin sauce or the Wu Ping soup. I haven't tried this yet. I don't think I have, please tell me I have like hoisin or oyster sauce or something. So we're gonna do this kind of like in a sprinkle manner here. Rip it up. Oh, and a little bit on the plate too. Stop landing on the floor, land on top of the food. Thank you. Looking great, looking really good here. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. So first things first, let's break the shucker open. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh yes, very hot in the middle. So we definitely got to the warmth in the middle. That's like really good. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. I thought I thought I was gonna be put off by the sugar, but it's actually fine.